So approximation can actually be broken down into four subtopics. We've got rounding, truncation, estimation, and bounds. So I'll do a brief intro to each of these subtopics, and then we'll we'll go through um, uh, one or two exam questions um, for both. So first of all, let's do rounding. So rounding basically tells us we have to shorten the, the number. So um, let's say we've got um, 31 point um, four five eight two and I want to round this to two decimal places to two D P. Well that means that that column there is going to be my final column in my new number. Right that, that four is in my first decimal place and the five is in my second decimal place. Well all we do is we look at the number directly next to what will what will end up being my final column. And because that's an eight, well it's because it's um, five or above, we therefore round up and we end up with 31.46 and that's my new number um, rounded to two decimal places. If the 8 was say a 3 then it would be less than 5 and therefore we would round down and that 5 in my, my final column would stay as a 5 rather than change into a 6. Next up is truncation. Um, truncation is almost like a lazier version of rounding, it's, it's what calculators and computers do. Um, we could look at the same number again, right? Uh, 31.4582. And again, we're going to we're going to truncate this to two decimal places. Well, all truncation does is it chops off the end of the number. And so that's my second decimal place column. What well, all I do now is I just chop off everything else. I just get rid of it. And so all I'm left with is 31.45. There's actually no maths at all involved in truncation. Um, and what we can see is, you know, if we compare these two uh, values, they're, they're different, right? We we, uh, we end up with two different numbers. Um, so we've got to be careful which method we, we use. Ideally, we use rounding. Um, we need to understand what, what truncation is because that's what uh, calculators and computers use. They, they have a limited precision. And anything um, beyond that precision will just get chopped off when they're doing their calculations. Estimation. Estimation is um, a way of very quickly doing some some lazy maths, right? So um, we could say, for example, twenty one point eight um, is roughly equal to to twenty, right? If we were doing a calculation, if we were doing say um, twenty one point eight times um, one point nine seven, well, we'd say this is basically equal to twenty times two. Because again, we, we don't want to be messing around with 1.97s. Um, so we can say this is this is roughly equal to um, 40. And if we were to test this on a calculator, we'd, we'd end up with um, very close to, to that, that true calculation. Finally, bounds. Uh, bounds are what we have to deal with when we, when we round things. Um, so for example, if we think of a ruler, you know, if we were to zoom into a ruler, um, it would it would look something like this, right? We'd end up with, um, uh, you know, 30, 31 centimeters, 0.4 millimeters, 31 centimeters, 0.5 millimeters, and down here we might have 31 centimeters, 0.3 cent, uh, 3 millimeters. Um, and you know, if, if I told you that I measured uh, the the length of I don't know uh, plank of wood to 31.4 uh, centimeters, well. In reality, that, that plank of wood could be anywhere down to um, halfway between these two numbers, right? And it could be anywhere up to halfway between these two numbers. Um, and so my my actual um, range of possible values is going to be that that uh, that interval there. And so uh, you'll see in a second when we do an example, um, that's what we have to deal with when we're doing bounds. So let's jump in to some past paper uh, questions. First of all, we'll look at rounding. So uh, we want to write this number correct to three decimal places, 3dp. Well, we look at the number in the third decimal place column, which is that 7 there. And we then look at the number directly next to the 7. Because that's 5 and above, it's a 6. We know we have to round that 7 up to an 8. So we get uh, 3.848. And we'll do one more. We'll look at a significant figure. 
uh, version of rounding. So to one significant figure, well, one sig fig is just my very first digit, right? It's that three there. Um, and again, I look at the number right next to it. It's five and above, it's a seven. So I know I need to round that three up to a four. And everything else, I just ignore. Um, so obviously that three is in my tens column, it's actually a 30. And so that 30 gets rounded up to a 40. Truncation, halfway there. Um, Sally uses a calculator to work out the value of a number, y. Um, the display begins, begins 8.3. So it's going to be 8.3 something, 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 something. We don't know what these what these numbers are after that, that three digit. Well, if we look at, you know, when we're looking at the error interval, we're looking at the maximum and the minimum there could be. So we're trying to find the, the min and the max that this number could actually be. Um, and so, well, what's the minimum that, that could go here? What's the smallest digit that could go in this box? Well, the smallest digit is a zero, right? And in fact, all these boxes could contain zeros. So 8.30000, that's just 8.3. And that's gonna be our smallest, um, smallest value. We could do the same experiment again, but look at what's the largest um, value that could go in each of these boxes. Well, the largest value that the calculator could display in each position would be a nine, right? We could have a nine in every single position going on forever. Well, that's just equal to 8.39 recurring, right? So if we have 8.39 recurring, that's gonna be our largest value that we could possibly have. We've gotta be careful though, because we've got this inequality sign that says, we actually wanna find the number that we have to be less than. And because we know we could go up to and include 8.39 recurring, the number that we therefore have to be less than is gonna be the number directly next to that number, which is gonna be 8.4. So that's gonna be our maximum number. Um, finally, um, last two, estimation and bounds. Um, we wanna work out an estimate for uh, this fairly horrific looking um, fraction. So we're gonna estimate each of these three terms. So this is gonna be roughly 20, this is gonna be roughly the square root of 100, and this is gonna be roughly 0 0.2. So if we um, then do this calculation, well, this is just 20 plus square root of 100 is gonna be 10, all divided by 0 0.2. Well, that gives us 30 over 0 0.2, which is the same as 30 times five, which is gonna give us 150. So that's gonna be our answer. Finally, uh, the very last subtopic, bounds. Um, X is rounded to three sig fig, the result is 2.17. So we know our number line is gonna be counting up in terms of the, the third uh, significant figure um, column. So 2.17 is gonna go here, directly below it, it's gonna be 2.16, and directly above it, it's gonna be 2.18. If we then look at um, what, the, uh, what the, the, the lowest that this could be is, well, it's gonna be directly halfway between 2.16 and 2.17, right? Anything, anything to the right of this line will round up to 2.17. Um, anything to the left, we'd round down to 2.16. And likewise, directly between 0.17 and 0.18, well, to the left, we'd round down, and to the right, we'd round up. And so we can see this is our, our full range of possible values that the, the true value could actually be. So now we've just got to find out well, what are those maximum and minimum values. Well, the minimum it could be is between 0.16 and 0.17. So that's going to be 2.165. And the maximum, or that, that limiting line there, is going to be between 0.17 and 0.18 that's gonna be 2.175. And so they are gonna be our minimum and our maximum limits. And you can say, well, if it's 2.175, wouldn't we round up? How can that be our final answer? Well, it's because we've got this inequality sign here, which says we have to be less than whatever number is in this position. So it's gotta be less than 2.175, um, anything less than that, we're going to round down to that 2.17 value. Uh, and that concludes our uh, lesson on approximation.